Once upon a time it fit. My Aritzia haul. These are the Aritzia pants. I could better organize her. We're back and today we are gonna be going through my whole closet because I am so overwhelmed by everything in my closet. We have to switch over and transition my closet from spring, summer to fall, winter. I am so excited. I gotta clear out a lot of my clothes and get things ready to sell, donate, because I had my second baby like six-ish months ago now. You know what? The clothes just aren't fitting how they used Used to and they're just kind of making me sad. If I want to go through everything, just have a closet full of clothes that fit me and make me feel good and I like and actually wear and I don't want things sitting in there anymore that I don't touch. So we're going to get rid of everything. I'm going to try and really, really, really trim down my closet and just have more of an intentional closet. Ooh, and I went to the Aritzia warehouse sale in Vancouver and I have a huge Aritzia warehouse haul. It's like a huge bag over there. I have intentionally not opened well, kind of mainly not opened yet because I wanted to have like a whole thing for everyone here to go through it and we can just like have a little fun moment. I think what I want to do is pull everything out that I'm not wearing anymore, don't fit. I think I just want to get rid of everything else before I put the new stuff in. Okay, so we're in my bed. I pulled out a lot of clothes that I suspect don't fit me anymore or I'd never pull for and I think there's a reason. It's just because they don't fit me the way I want them to. So I'm gonna try them on, figure out why I don't like them, tell that to myself so then I can then let go of these items to sell because we gotta make money to buy things that I'm actually gonna wear. We want an intentional closet. We want a closet with things that we're actually gonna wear. This is step one is you gotta get rid of all the junk we don't wear no more. Okay, coat closet first. I love this coat. But yeah, already putting it on my arms, I can tell it's a very tight. Once upon a time, it fit. It's super cute. It's got like a tie waist. It's like wool. It's super nice. It's Zara, but it's so tight in the arms and I can't wear a hoodie underneath it and I don't like feeling constricted, nor will I wear it if I can't have a hoodie underneath it. She was like $250. You gotta look at it like now you have like a very expensive piece of clothing that's gonna make you money when you sell it to put towards new things. So so goodbye. The stretch coat was a bit too green for my liking. Also, the material wasn't quite it. And I live in Seattle. It's rainy, so I ended up getting one. It's a bit more water resistant. It's still really cute. It's oversized, but I for her to have a new home. We upgraded to a coat that just went with more of my items. I'm gonna wear the new coat more. This one is a shacket. I really like it. Well, apparently not enough, because I think I've only worn it a couple times. It's a really cute, like oversized fit. Not as much on me as it used to be. She's a cutie, but I don't think I'm gonna wear her enough, so we're just gonna have to say bye. This one, I thought I was really gonna like this one, but once again, I don't think shackets are super my thing, maybe? Maybe that's the problem? We have this girly. It's a leather oversized shacket from Zara. It's like, it, these are all in like brand new condition. I need to say goodbye. I have this really soft sweater, this really cute oversized like cardigan. I just don't know if I'm gonna reach for her. Oh, I don't know, but now I'm panicking. Should I keep her? And just like so many sweat sets. I'm just gonna try these on over my pants because most realistically they're probably not gonna fit anyways. Oh yeah, they're tight on the bum. This is this is not looking promising. Okay, yeah. That's not it. They're just so tight, which is not what you want for sweatpants. Overall, not a vibe. Not at all. These, okay, these, it's a set. It's a set and I really like it because the top is this really cute like crop balloon sleeve. We're not gonna wear her, so we're gonna say bye to her. Same with this. I don't think it's gonna fit. Pink jogger waffle material. They like fit okay, but I just really like my sweats to be super oversized. They have a drawstring inside, which is nice too. And then they come with the, the zipped crop, but I just, I don't think I like cropped loungewear. I think that's my problem. I don't think I wear it enough. So time to get rid of her. Oh, this one I really don't want to try on. It's a really cute Zara cardigan set. Don't think she's going to fit. Let's see. Like she's pretty stretchy, not terrible, but it's like slightly too tight. That's just not comfy, but she's so cute. Somebody please buy this and put this to use. It was so expensive too. My jeans almost, most definitely not going to fit. Her 
already got new Abercrombie ones, but let's just try these on one more time to then tell myself they don't fit. Like, that could happen. Who wants that to happen? It's not gonna be fun while it happens. No, thank you. No, thank you. I know for a fact those, you can just, I can just hold those up. Those aren't gonna fit. These are so cute for fall. They're like a really cute, like, tweed hunts tooth. Hunts tooth? Oh, I wish I had problems saying that. And like, I have really cute little mini skirts. Such a cute little plaid pattern. More pants. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye. Oh, these are some of my favorite. Literally, the tag's still on. These ones are so cute. They have like a double buckle at the waist. They're Aritzia. They're literally brand new with the tags. $148 pants. But I just, that's not happening. That's not. So many, honestly, most of these are pants. Leather pants, pleather pants from Zara. They're like a wide leg in such good condition. Goodbye. Zara cream wide leg pants yeah not not gonna fit too many things with tags because i bought them when i was pregnant and i was like that'll fit me afterwards because that was naive of me got like the belt and their tapered balloon pants i love them but oh I'm not gonna fit. This guy, Aritzia, love her so much. It's the Akulamont jumpsuit. Akulamont? Meant? Akulamont? I think it's Akulamont. I don't know. It's so flattering, but I think it's just, she's a little bit too tight for me. It's such a pretty, like, brown color. This jumpsuit is literally like a $200 jumpsuit. For any of my fellow YouTube fans, if you follow Sarah's Day, I have a bunch of the Sarah's Day White Fox active wear. Like, I got this cute little active wear ribbed set, and we got the speckle workout set but then I also have like a couple like little blouse like that's an extra small that's just gonna be like way too tight and restrictive it's so cute though it's got like a little tie knot in the bottom I have too many black blazers and yeah I just don't I don't want it. This adorable, like, black sleepless blazer vest thingy. So cute, but I just don't think it's oversized enough for me anymore. So I think I need to say goodbye to her. That just, like, makes me kind of sad, though. Oh, I'm already overwhelmed. That's probably, like, half the stuff I'm selling, not even. Trying on clothes that used to fit you that now don't, I don't think really ever feels that great. I'm trying not to get too negative about it. I'm just trying to, like, remind myself, put a positive spin on it. I'm going to girl therapy my way out of this. Now I get to sell all these clothes, get that money to put to Towards new clothes that I'm gonna love way better than anything in here. That's the math and I'm gonna get clothes that fit me and make me feel good and not be sad about it. I'll probably just post this all on Poshmark. So um, if you see anything you like, hit up my Poshmark. I'll have it in the description box down below. If you wanna add things and create a bundle, I'll do like a discount for like bigger bundles. And if you message me and tell me that you found me through YouTube, I'll give you an extra discounts, babes. Yeah. We are now in the guest bed downstairs where I <laughs> threw all the clothes I'm selling. I need to take pictures of everything and then post it. If you see anything you like, hit up my Poshmark. <laughs> Child not included. That feels so good. I also went through like my coat closet and my shoes and my purses and stuff like that. I did a major purge and oh, I'm feeling so good. Now I'm gonna like rebuy some items that I want in like a different size, things that I didn't want to sell but just don't fit me. I pulled out most of my summer stuff, I think, like shorts and florals and like brighter colors that I tend to gravitate more towards in like summertime. That is literally all on the bed right behind me. My wonderful assistant is awake. We're Hello. Anyways, at the top of my closet, I have these bins that I put things that are like off season because I have enough space to store them. If you want to figure out why I'm able to fit so many pieces of clothing in my tiny closet, one, my husband's clothes are not in the closet. I make him put them in the closet in the guest room. Two, I have like a whole video on how I organize like a small closet in like a renter friendly edition. So definitely go check that out. This is like a different rental than I was in when I made that video. All these bins currently have winter sweaters and stuff. So now we got to swap them for all like the dresses and the swimsuits and all, you know, the summer stuff. I am very overwhelmed right now. I didn't really think I had that much summer stuff to put away. Apparently I do, but I have all my colorful dresses. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm actually quite proud of myself right now. I thought I was not a super colorful person. I know this isn't a ton of color compared to some people. That's a lot for me. I definitely gravitate towards color more in like the spring and summer seasons. Definitely not as much in fall, but I feel like that's most people anyways. I have some summer things that I realized I didn't reach for. So now knowing I didn't touch them at all this summer, I like will post now to sell just in case. But I definitely find that posting things right at the beginning of the season, holding on to these things until next spring, summertime is when I'm gonna get the most sales. I did that with all my fall clothes. I just like kind of had them all packed away. I'm gonna pull them out now. And I've already posted a few things and I've made like quite a bit of sales right now because obviously everyone's looking for fall clothes. If you have the space and luxury to like hold off on things, definitely worth it. And I usually just try and keep my closet circular. I find marketplace is really nice because then you can try and find things that I'm like specifically looking for and higher end things that I'm not really willing to pay like full price for and use the money I made from clothing sales towards new things. I also try and sell as many of my clothes as possible. That's kind of my due diligence to the planet. Fast fashion is like a very dangerous industry. I love fashion and I definitely do my best to not over consume items and like not just buy things for the sake of it or buy something that I'm not going to wear a ton. When I'm ready to cycle through things, a lot of the times what happens with like fast fashion items is they end up like in a landfill because you donate them and then they just get thrown out because they're not in good enough condition or just like no one ever buys them wherever you donate them. I just feel like a little bit better about selling my clothes to people just because then I know like, someone is going to wear this item. They want it enough that they're willing to pay for it which means that it will be used a second time or a third time or a fourth time. I would rather the item go towards someone who is actively searching for the item. Or I don't know. Does that make sense? Am I making sense or am I not making sense? I think I'm making sense. Okay I was able to fit all my summer clothes into two of these bins. Now I get to put these away and I have a bunch of free, freed up, freed up? Yeah, freed up hangers to then use for my fall clothes and also closet space. Now the less sad, more fun part my Aritzia haul. I know we just had a chit chat about fast fashion and overconsumption. I will say I got a lot of basics here. I didn't just buy things willy nilly because they were on sale. The majority of these purchases were things that I needed to buy in my new size and just like really good basics that I probably would have bought full price anyway. So I think that I did a good job. We're just gonna rapid fire this. We got one of the contour tops and just like a really nice like little muscle tee one. They're really thick double lined ones so you don't even have to wear a bra. Super flattering, I love those. What is this? This one is like a really cute little collared v-neck. It's the same material. It's so thick. It's so nice. Literally, it's $15. Faritzia is so good. These are some of my favorite. I already wore these a bunch when we went on a trip to Arizona recently. They're just blue boxer shorts. They were like 20 bucks. And then here's, see this, I mean basics, good basics. Just like a really nice white form-fitted tee that I'm going to be able to wear lots in the fall. This one was definitely one of my more fun items. It's just like a little button down shirt. I thought it'd be really cute for like transitional seasons. I can wear this with trousers, but then also in the springtime. Oh, this one's so fun. A half sip long sleeve top. So cute. I think it was a little bit more expensive. It was 30. I think I'll wear it a lot for 30. I thought it looked super cute with like my puffer vest and everything. Oh yeah, this one's a good one for fall too. It's just like a cropped little black button up thing with wide leg trousers. I thought that'd be so cute. I think it was 15. This one. I love this one. It's a really cute strapless top. It's like a satin-like, silky kind of material. It's got a little band on the inside. It's a really cute stone beigey color. I already made a cute fit out of that. It's on my Instagram. You should go check it out and like it and uh, support me. And then I got that same t-shirt, but this one's more in like a cream color, you know, because sometimes you need white, sometimes you need cream. Good stretch form to it. $15 and then good basics because I don't fit my other basics anymore. You see that? It's like a good stretch, long sleeve, turtleneck, white, 25 bucks. You no, you can't go wrong with that. And then I also got the same turtleneck or a similar one, but this one's ripped. Same thing, it's like really nice stretchy material because I had to get rid of mine because mine no longer fit me. This one was a little bit impulse buy-y. Not really, because I think I will wear it. It's kind of the basic, yeah. Just like a really nice dusty blue blouse. I just thought it was so nice. This shirt was so expensive, $150 new. It's 100% silk is why, but I got it for 40. It flowed so nicely, it was like the perfect little oversized fit. I just thought I couldn't go wrong. Oh, and then I got this little top too. It's like a brown ribbed t-shirt. Just like a really good structure and really will hold you in. Um, 15 bucks. Now these are my favorite because I was literally going to buy these brand new. I've been obsessing over these 
these forever and somehow I found them in my size on sale. The Effortless Pants by Aritzia. I was going to buy them new. They're like $150 new or I was going to try and find them at like Marketplace. I got them for 50 bucks in like a non-crazy color. It's just like a super cute off-white color. They're just so nice. Somehow in my size. I have no idea how. Are you kidding me? And then to make it even better, I was also looking for them in black. I found them in black too. Also $50. I was so excited. I do need to hem them because they're crazy long. And then I also needed a new pair of black tapered pants. I found these ones. These are the Dashwood. Super cute. I'll try and put the names of all the items I bought because I'm pretty sure you can still buy them like new full price. Yeah, they're just like a really nice tapered pant. I like them. But yeah, see? Basics. These are actually like good pieces that I'm gonna wear and then not part of my Aritzia haul. Excuse me. Can I? Yeah. Can I? I just, I, I, Sorry, I should just like need that. You're just kind of like right on top of it. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Can I have them? <laughs> you just sit. Yeah, just chill. Oh good, these have jewel on them. I got a pair of jeans from Abercrombie because my jeans do not fit me and I feel like Zara's sizing is getting smaller and smaller. I tried on a size up for my last pair that are too small for me and they were smaller than my current pair. And I was just like a little salty about that. Also the quality just seems to be going down. So I wasn't really about it. I ended up finding these Abercrombie jeans. They have the crisscross waist. They're just like a loose dad jean. I was able to get them in a short because I am only 5'3". And they were $30, so I'm super pumped. They left my bum super well. Just like a nice, good quality jean for super cheap. I'm okay with it. And then I also, from Dynamite, the like long maxi skirt with the slit in the front. I just was so excited about that. Anyways, I think we have to go pick up Big Sis from preschool, so we're gonna continue this in a little bit. A few moments later. It's a few hours later now, but we're back. I get to finally hang all the Ritza stuff, which is like the satisfying part, so I can finally go in my closet. I was just like dedicated to the haul, so I didn't hang anything up. You're welcome. One thing I also do with my closet, if something's new, I know you're supposed to like wash it before you wear it, but what I'll usually do is I'll hang something in my closet, and before I rip the tags off, I make sure there's at least one or two instances where I think about wearing the item and I want to reach and grab it, because then I know I'm actually going to wear it, because otherwise I just like decrease the resale value of the item. If you just, if you keep the takes on it, it's a great resale if you decide you're not going to reach for it. If I notice I've been like thinking of outfits to wear it with and I want to reach for it more than once or twice, then I'll wash it and then wear it after that. But here's the thing is you actually have to make sure that you clean out your closet and don't just have a bunch of stuff with takes attached. Are you buying this? Boop. That is $29.99 plus tax. And a book too. Okay. Boop. Do you have a card? Oh, I don't. Well, that's not my problem. How are you going to pay? Can you want to buy something? No, I don't. It's my store. Anyways, can't remember what I'm saying. Leave the tags on, but also be good at cleaning out your closet. If something has the tags still attached to it and you haven't worn it in like a year, then you're probably never gonna wear it. Okay, here, scan the beep. Thanks. These are the Aritzia pants. These are the effortless pants. You see, they're just like such a nice pair of pants. Ooh. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, is, I don't know if you can see, they're really long for me. So I'm going to have to hem them like five inches probably. All the pants I have to hem all off. All the pants I need to see me pull. Yeah, anyways, I have to hem all my pants, so it's like, whatever. I am feeling so good right now. I have a bunch of girls coming today to pick up some clothes. I already posted some. But speaking of, if you are looking for some secondhand clothes and you are like mostly size extra small to small, I have a lot of stuff in my Poshmark. I will link that in the description box. I'm definitely more willing to do big discounts when you buy like multiple things. So I've been having girls coming and getting like $100 worth of things, which is just feels so good. They're also getting like a really good deal because honestly, not to maybe to break. I don't know. I like to take really good care of my clothes. Always follow like the wash instructions and stuff like that. So like everything's usually in like really good like resale condition to pump my own tires. Go check out my Poshmark if you want. This was my favorite sweater last year. Super classic full sweater. I got it from like Nordstrom Rack for such a good deal. And then I put it in the wash. I only ever do cold wash. Excuse me. Literally just made a sale. So exciting. Anyways, cold water delicate cycle laid it flat to dry like it said and I feel like it shrunk and I don't understand why like that sucks I could get it wet and like stretch it out again but I feel like that always like ruins the shape a bit it still fits but it doesn't fit as like nicely oversized as I did before and I like really liked it before which is kind of a bummer to make sure your closet looks like a storefront is I like to organize things by color 
color and then it also kind of helps when you're like going through your outfit being like i need a white shirt today or whatever right now i could better organize her so we're gonna do that <laughs> Here she is. That looks so satisfying. I'm so excited to go in my closet now. I feel like it always looks so much more full and organized when it's in the winter because the sweaters just look a lot more clean cut than all like the strappy little tanks. But yeah, we're all switched over. It's officially fall. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, don't forget to give my video a big thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. Subscribe if you want to see new stuff. Let me know down below in the comments what else you want to see. Bye.